It's a juggle, but Banger is gone. A chance to shine. Heath Street, the captain, has struck in the first over. That is experienced fast bowler. You see their wide offering uh, Banga the chance to drive through the covers. Slower ball, and Heath has taken a second. Kaibu takes the catch. Heath Street is ripping into India's top order. Well, again, good bowling and full marks to the Zimbabwean captain for keeping the ball up, drawing the batsman into the drive. And you can see the weight really not on the front foot when he was looking to uh, play that shot. Oh, it's a top edge. And this is going to be a simple catch. Delivery doing the trick, and it's for the fourth time in this one-day series. It's not just once or twice. This is the fourth time, the second time against Zimbabwe again, looking to drag it from outside the off stump, and only managing a top edge. So Zimbabwe right on top. Heath streak now. A lovely stroke, and India need a lot of these. Slow ball again, and a misfield. Don't see too many of that, two of those from Zimbabwe. Now that is a very good shot. He's just paddled it away on the onside. Oh, magnificent. In the end, oh, he did he get a hand on it. Two more. That's the 50 partnership. Oh, that's where you're good. Oh, it doesn't even run. <laughs> you can play. We love him out here. Shot delivery. This bastard in front of square for four runs. And he's found the gap again. This is a privilege. Oh, what a shot. 50 to Vivius Luxman. He has batted outstandingly. I don't know how many he'll get from here on. But you won't forget this innings. That's nicely played on the onside. This is a quick outfield. Oh, eventually the boundaries come. At last, the ball saying. doing well after losing three early wickets once again it's the old form of Dravid and Lakshman doing the job Rahul Dravid has gone on to another half century now that's carted away on the onside and into the gap so the boundary is coming now two boundaries and two overs one for Lakshman now it's Dravid's turn This is out, is it? Yes, taken in the end. He almost made a mess of it, Blake not. Hit straight to him, it popped out. Again, threw it up in the air. So Zimbabwe have got rid of Dravid, and that is an important wicket. Well, I think he was trying to go over the top here, just like he did last over. He's trying to get it up and over that shortish mid-wicket, man. And he didn't quite make it. <laughs> nice juggling effort. Remember last over, hit Grant Flower over mid-wicket, didn't he? And he's tried it, but it's left uh, in the air in just an awkward situation. It'll be leg buys, I think. We'll wait for the umpire's decision. It's a welcome boundary for the Indian team. Oh, that's a good shot. India needed an innovative shot at this stage. And Ron Gavaskar's done that. They should be looking at... Uh, three. Lakshman is the one who calls for the third. That is going all the way. All the way. What a fine shot. 
got the edge and will get a boundary. Number three in this VB series for VVS Lakshman. And while any hundred by Lakshman is going to be pretty, this is worth its weight in gold. You can see that in the faces in the dressing room. Have you found the gap? Oh well, what a response. What a response. Five rows back over mid-wicket. Oh, he got room. He got room and that'll be four runs. And he's picked the gap again. More runs in the over. I don't think we'll see too much more Honda from here. But he couldn't get it in the block goal. It's a full toss. He's attempted the block goal there. It's full toss. Half century for Ron Gavaskar, his first in international cricket in the one-day game. He's gone. That is a very fine catch by Andy Blickmert. Oh. It was a slightly sort of slow delivery. There was a man there just in front of square. One man, fine leg was up. Oh, that's gone skyward. It is going to be out. As we've seen from Zimbabwe. Travis Friend takes the catch. Lachman has departed. And this has been a superb inning by Lachman. Latchman recovering the situation though with a beautiful century, 131 from 138 balls. Dravid and Gavaskar both contributing with half centuries as well in the middle of the innings. Gavaskar with a maiden test 50. India ending up with 280 for 7. He streaked going for 53 runs off his 10 overs, although he did pick up 3 wickets. And one for 25 from five overs for Blignote. So Zimbabwe required 280 runs to win. Stay tuned after the break for the run chase. Out. Good night. Gone. Slack shot. He's given a real poor shot from an experienced player. In the slot. No feet. Big windy whoosh. Nick. Well, celebrations all around for Team India. And uh, not a very good shot for a man who's got over 6,000 runs. Oh, oh can what a you catch. believe it? That is a magnificent catch. Vivius Latchman is majestic, not just with the bat, but in the slips. Um, honestly, this guy could do anything. Big Nick, good delivery, outside edge, diving, move forward, look at the head, the shoulders, get the hand there, oh, brilliant. You'll never see a better catch anywhere. How good is that? That's in the air, and has he taken it? Yes. That is another superb catch. Never easy for a fast bowler to react in that fashion on his follow-through. This catch looked very easy, but when bowler is into... In his follow through, it can be very, very difficult. It was a slow catch, but eyes were on the ball. Comfortably taken by him. And uh, the, the way he was bowling, he and deserved that wicket. And that will go away in the gap for four. Now that's probably perfectly placed. It's gone away in the gap for four. The chipping away Zimbabwe. Big hit. Big hit. One bounce and gone. Oh, beautiful placement. Outstanding shot. His third boundary. Very well played. Get! Now Carlisle, that's a half century for Stuart Carlisle, his first of this VB series. Good shot, good shot, into the stands it goes. And they need a few more. There's a great one day shot, very very safe, if you're going to go after it, go with the full bang. And that's what exactly shot I wanted there. 
Half century for Sliven. Oh, he's got a lot of wood on that. And that will go the distance. I think it's it goes straight on the rope. It's gone. And back over the bowler's head. That will go. That will go all the way. Zimbabwe doing this in style now. And again. And again the placement is spot on. Zimbabwe are doing this at a... Oh, he's picked the gap. And he's hit it into that gap for four. One good over. Oh, what a shot that is. That's west away to the boundary. Just seemed to be a gentle jab with the bottom hand. And the timing was special there. This is good cricket by Zimbabwe. Very good cricket. Oh, that's cheeky. And what a way to bring up a three-figure score. Sean Irvin, you played superbly. His first 100 in one-day internationals. Have a look at that team. Everybody in that dressing room standing up. Hugs all around from the 12th man who's coming to not only offer his congratulations but uh, also a quick. Uh... Oh, he's gone after that. Analogy has to run around to cut it. But 100 here for Stuart Carlyle. A lot of fun innings. Decides to have a goal. That is a wide, ten foot slow ball. No, 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 no. There should be a run out. There should be a run out. A big mix-up, and in the end, Sean Irvin has sacrificed his wicket. He could have easily off about a very, very good innings. And I do believe that uh, actually... Uh, starts off with a short delivery, a bounce-up. In many ways, a good delivery to bowl when you haven't really loosened up. They want a wide now is wild throw. They go up for the catch, it's just kissed the pad of the way. It's intense dressing room, all right. Oh, this is good bowling. Bowling full straight. That's what India want. They want to keep playing. Well, he's done well. Good finish. Just three off that over. That's the over. That's a dot ball. That'll put pressure on the batting side. Look at the short square boundaries. Good delivery. Wide signal. He's not happy, Ajit Agarkar. That was a decision made. There is third man, just a single. Zimbabwe need a boundary. You can't leave it till too late. That is a clean hit. He finds the boundary, Stuart Carlyle. Better delivery. Yes. Cheeky, extremely well executed. Oh, 
That's in the air, taken. That's gone straight to Kardec. So Ajit Agarkar strikes with the last ball of the spell. Stuart Malayal. Times when a side is not used to winning. Too often. It can be detrimental, but that's a good start to this uh, penultimate over. That's a lovely strike. Right out of the meat of the bat. Run for everything at this stage. He's got two men back. Yes, he's bowled the short ball. One for the over. That's good thinking. He's kept two men back. That's edged. Well beat third man. And Zimbabwe end the over with the boundary. Nine runs required of the final over. So single shouts for two. They will run for everything. They'll get that second run. Seven required of five. Boundary in the next two balls to do the trick for Zimbabwe. It's ah! a dead ball. Seven required from four. Oh, he's hoiked that. This could be taken in the deep. And is taken. The Indian outfielding, especially the catching, has been quite outstanding. VVS Lakshman, 131. And adding valuable runs with Rahul Dravid and Rohan Gavaskar. And now comes in with a second brilliant catch. So the man in the outfield there is VVS Lakshman, I believe, and another Streak on strike. Seven of two. Well, this is the... Just the single. So six required for Zimbabwe to win. One thing India should ensure here is no no balls, no wides. Well, it was a length ball. We'll get one. India have won the game. All that is required is a good throw into the keeper's gloves. Excellent last over from Sanjay Banga. Just five runs coming off it. And the Indian team have held their nerve.